All right, there's a little bit of everything to be had here at the SEMA show. We have a pre-runner, brand new, 2007. It's got an LS2 engine sitting out beyond the back tires. And room for four. Yes, indeed, a little bit of everything. That was a 93 Toyota Supra. And one more of many Hummers at this show. And there is no shortage of huge wheels from one floor to the next, upstairs and down. If you ever needed an advertising blimp, get it right here. And just how big are they? A? A? This section is an off-roader's dream. and wheels. I've heard of tailgating, but this would be a different variation. Truck accessories of every description. Okay, so you just had a little tour through the Hot Rod Heritage photo art section where cameras are not allowed. It's a big one. Can you identify this engine? I gotta look at all these Or this one. Everybody should get this one. And this one. Here's an engine near and dear to my heart. Had a few of those. Your basic Viper and your not so basic Hemi. Your basic blown Hemi and your new 392 Hemi. Notice those hood hinges.
I don't know, are those wheels big enough for a Camaro? Can anybody guess what size? 20 inches. This summer, Jackson Auction in January. CNN will donate the proceeds. A new Chip Foose ride, soon to be debuted on the TV. This is where it gets dangerous for the Marines because it is now house to house kind of searching. Uh, it's dark. Alleyways, a doorway or a balcony, any of those could be lethal for a Marine unit. See the one with the blue tarp on it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Let's sweep on down straight. That one would feel sort of very Yes, indeed. The summer has a gas burning 454. Sunday. Okay, now we are about to look at some more bitchin' vehicles in SEMA's vast outdoor display. For SEMA's 40th anniversary, the theme is American Muscle. Here's one example. I'm a this year, a member of this group. manufacturer's award will be shared by the big three. Another Ford, 69 GM Camaro. This one looks like a real the killer. that they are building for the enthusiasts. A little bit of the old and a little bit of the new. Lots of Mustangs. And you have your Charger and your Challenger, and you've seen the new Camaro. Anyone for a low rider Hummer? Okay, how about a high rider Hummer? Wait a minute. What was that? Something's peculiar about this Firebird. Hmm. Aha. So, what's the plate of the guys in interior of this very fine 69 Firebird. This Firebird exhibited by Twist Machine features a Pro Charger mounted way down in there. Searching spider holes. Boris, where are you? H. Ouch! Bel Air cruising. Back in 56, Check compliments me. of Gene Winfield. All right, all you car crazy freaks, we're not done yet. Let's go check out the house of Oberholland. Popular house. Uh, the guys are busy building up something. Some outrageous ride. People are in the grandstands watching as the building goes on. Wouldn't you like to be in there? There's a Hemi in the house. Don't you just love it? I must say, I have this certain affinity for the sound of tools at work. Ah, yes, eBay Motors, responsible for the sale of my 56 Chevy a few days ago and my metamorphosis into the Flying Dutchman. Here we have a TV production in action. Ah, looks like uh, a little bit further back. The magic hair growth tool. 
Okay, so we are still out in the parking lot in one of the large tents that SEMA has put up. More that displays. And that does it for part one of SEMA 2006.